So look, we are entering a new era that will change everything from the way we live, the way we buy, and most importantly, the way we make money. Let me first ask you a question. Do you actually want to go viral on these social media platforms? If the answer is yes, continue watching this video. But if the answer is no, you are free to leave. Because in today's video, I will break down a game-changing tutorial on how to use AI to your advantage and guarantee yourself millions upon millions of views on social media platforms. I'm gonna cut through all the BS and save you the hundreds of hours I wasted on stupid short-form content that never goes viral. And Honestly, you have no time to waste. So, this is the right way to go viral right now. Let's first watch the type of videos we are going to make. Now, this is scary. In 1978, three teenagers stumbled upon an old crashed German aircraft deep in the Brazilian rainforest. However, when they entered the plane, they realized that it appeared much more modern and larger from the inside than it did from the outside. The snippet you've seen of Joe Rogan's podcast is nowhere to be found on his channel, and he never said the things mentioned in the video. The crazy thing is that this video has 2.1 million views on TikTok, and it's completely AI generated. This is the channel that published that video, and it has almost 90,000 followers with only 20 videos. Additionally, this account has 20,000 followers and is probably owned by the same person. Now, check this out. This Instagram account Account went from 0 to 12,000 followers in 19 days and has 5 videos with over 1 million views and these videos are completely fake. Now that you know this method works in a short time, let's get into the tutorial. The elements needed to generate these videos are a viral script, a voiceover of Joe Rogan or any other podcast you want to mimic, AI generated images, and finally, some basic editing. Starting with the script, I would recommend you search for viral topics or people who are becoming very famous and get Joe Rogan to discuss them. For example, everyone wanted to see a Joe Rogan and Andrew Tate podcast, and someone created a fake video of Joe talking about Andrew Tate, which quickly went viral. So, ensure that your scripts are designed to maximize your chances of going viral. Now, let me show you a lazier approach. Go to TikTok and find a video that has already proven it can go viral. For example, I'll select this Joe Rogan and Elon Musk video, copy the URL and visit the SnapTick website. Paste the link, then click on download. Once the download is complete, go to freeconvert.com drag and drop the mp4 file we downloaded earlier. Change the output to mp3 and click convert. After the video is fully converted, click on download and select save to device. Next, we'll transcribe the mp3 file using replicate.com drag and drop the file, then click Submit. You will have a script ready to go viral. Now let's make the voiceover. First, go to YouTube and search for this channel. After that, click on this weird channel with 170 subscribers. Here, you will find a variety of voices to clone using Eleven Labs. These are perfect samples, so you can achieve an identical voice after cloning. Let's listen to this Joe Rogan one. That's didn't like this wave of like being evolved and not being evolved at the same time, like technologically spectacularly evolved to the point where we can bend matter. And now copy the video link and go to use instant voice cloning in Eleven Labs, and you will get a perfect Joe Rogan voice to use. The next step is generating the images using AI. Go to app.leonardo.ai, then proceed to AI image creation. and generate a couple of images that resonate with your script. For example, my video is about the Sphinx and the pyramids, and I would also need alien pictures. Try to generate as many images as you can so your video turns out great. You can also use prompts that you can find on the internet, or ask ChatGPT to help you with them. I would also recommend using Midjourney for better results if you have a subscription. Now go to CapCut and import everything we generated earlier. Make sure to also download a two minute clip of the Joe Rogan podcast so we can take a two second clip from it to put in the first two seconds of the video. Next, drag and drop the voiceover into the timeline and increase its volume if needed. Then go ahead and drag and drop the Joe Rogan podcast clip.
cut a good two seconds to start the video with. After that, change the aspect ratio to 9 by 16 to make it in a vertical shorts format. Resize the video to fit the whole screen. Next, drag and drop all the AI-generated pictures into the timeline. Make sure to resize all of them to fit the entire screen. The next thing to do is to shorten the length of the images and place each image in its best position. Do the same for all the images and delete the ones you don't want. The next step is to add transitions between every two pictures. I would recommend you to use the right or left transition. The shake one is also good. Anyways, feel free to use whatever you like. The next step is adding the clear effect. Go to filters and then drag and drop it into the sequence. Resize it to fit the entire video. After that, go to the first picture, click on animation, then click on combo and choose the Pendulum 2 effect. Do the same for all the pictures while using a different effect for each one. Next, Go to effects and scroll down to the nature effects. Drag and drop effects for every scene. Keep trying until you find what fits your style. Next, go to text, then auto captions, and click on create. After that, go ahead and change the font to something you like. If you don't know what to use, try the bold font. After that, go to animation and apply the pop-up effect to make the captions show word by word. Then change the color, the size, and add a shadow effect. Your video is ready. You can also add background music to make it even better. Now, this is interesting. One theory suggests that the Sphinx is much older than previously believed and originally had an alien head. Some people believe that it existed long before the Egyptians and that only the already deteriorated head was recarved. This is because the Sphinx has a head that appears too small for the size of its body. What are your thoughts on this? Now the video is done. If you enjoyed, subscribe and watch this video to learn new ways to go viral.